Welcome to a tutorial video on Ink for the Web. In this video I'm going to cover meta instructions or meta tags. So as we discussed in the previous video, there is now an image tag that you can use to include images when you export for the web. Remember of course as I discussed in the first video and then reviewed in the second video, we have to export for the web for the first time before we can add images. We do that by going to File, Export for Web, then saving that folder it creates and it will create the files for us. Notice I've already done that in this example and I've added a folder images as I discussed in the previous video. So we reviewed in the last video the tag image. There are others that act as a more meta aspect. They inform the gamer project but don't necessarily inform the visual layout as much. The first of which is the author tag. You see here right here on line one we have author lowercase, colon, and in this case my name, Dan Cox. We can also include themes. As of Inc. 0.8.2 and Inky 0.10.0, there are two different themes. Dark and white. I've chosen dark here, but we'll switch it back and look at the other in just a few moments. So we'll see here as a reminder, we have these three different tags, lines 1, 2, and 4. However, the preview over here on the right-hand side doesn't really know what to do with that, and so it just shows it to us. But remember, these are all acting for the web version or the export for web version. So let's go look what these look. Let's go look at what these look like before I go any further. So I've already pulled up this page, and we see now we're using the dark theme. Notice it has a black background and white text and gray text on top of it. Because we use the author tag, it now has my name by, and the name I put in, Dan Cox. So when we use the author tag, it supplies the author. We see here again, we're now using the theme dark, and so everything is shifted to dark. And as a review, and as covered in the previous video, we're using the image tag, and so now we have an image in this file. Coming back to Inky, we can change the theme from dark to white. File save project, file, and now as I discussed in the previous video and the, even the one before that, we don't need to export the whole project when we make changes to the code, we just need to export the story.js file. So I'm within this folder that I originally created as export for the web, I'm going to click save and I'm going to replace this file. Come back to the web page and refresh it. And now we're using the white theme. And as I discussed in Inky 0.10.0 and Ink 0.8.2, there are two different things we can use. The dark theme as I started with and the same white theme. Finally, there's one last meta instruction or meta tag we can use, and that is clear. Notice it's in all caps here on line 19. We can use clear to get rid of any previous text that was shown or any other previous elements that were shown like images and then start fresh at the top and show whatever comes next after that. So let's see that in action. Come back to the web page. I'm going to refresh it just so we get everything fresh. We noticed we have our title, we have our author, we have our images. Now if I select salad, it cleared everything else and then immediately showed the text that followed it. A voice from the heavens, no salad is forbidden. And so we can use clear in this instance as a way to clear the text. If we don't use this, and I take this back out, save the file, file, export story, save, replace, come back to the HTML file, refresh, come down and choose salad. Notice it retains everything previous to it, including the title, the author, the image, and everything else but then shows it this. So as a review, there are three different meta instructions or meta tags we can use for ink for the web. There is the author tag, which is the word author, lowercase, and a colon, and whatever we want to include for our author. In this case, I used my name. There's also the theme, and as I discussed, we have the two options, dark or white, and we had clear. Oops. and we can use that to clear everything previous. And again, as we're changing tags, or changing content, or changing code, 
We can do that by saving the project. So we save the code, export story.js only. Within that folder, save, replace, come back to the HTML file, and refresh it to see those changes. Salad is forbidden. Thanks for watching.